How's it going, everyone? So, should have thought about this before I told the company that I would review this particular light and laser combo, because it doesn't really fit the P365, and uh, definitely is more for like a Glock 17 and maybe like a Glock 19 and like a Taurus G3, but I don't have anything larger at hand right now, so P365 it is. This is the Feiachi light laser combo. Um, the actual model I'll put over there. I didn't keep track of it. But so it, it's kind of awkward fitting, but I really needed to test out this recovered tactical rail. And this was going to be the best way to do it because I don't currently have any of the O lights or anything that I did have before. And this is actually a little bit bulkier and putting more strain on it. So this kind of give me an idea how well everything holds up. But yeah, so this review is of the Feiachi light laser combo. This is red, which is why it has a red ring. They also have a green model. This one's like $43.99 or something at the time of this video. The green model is like $49.99. So this particular one is a little bit cheaper, which is uh, normal with red lights versus green lights and things like that. But yeah, so it doesn't really fit well, but I am going to take it to our range here in a little bit and we're gonna see how well it does. And uh, so I'll go over the manipulating, how it works and everything. So you got a little dial down here. Um, all the way over is just the flashlight. In the middle is flashlight and the red laser. And then all the way on this side is just the red laser. And then this side here, if I pull down, that is to just activate it while I'm putting pressure on that. And if you go onto the opposite side over here, and I flick it, that actually activates it until you push it back up. So that's how you manipulate the controls of this guy. It does operate off a of CR123A batteries, and um, it came with two spares, which is pretty cool because most of them do not come with spares. So yeah, it came with spare batteries as well. The battery door does feel pretty, uh, pretty good on it, and so, yeah, that's what I got, and we've got here, they also sent me their Boresight, which came with batteries for that. I have had this Boresight before, it does work, and I used it on a lot of different things. So we're going to get this red dot sighted in, and then we will take it to the range. Quick mentions of the Boresight here, it did come with spare batteries for that as well and a nice little plastic packaging to keep everything in. So, and the batteries are wrapped up. You just gotta cut this plastic off and then insert the batteries. So I have my bore sight in place in here and I'm going to zero in that laser and then we'll take it to the range. And real quick, I wanted to show you um, the flashlight and the brightness of the flashlight. So we'll take a look at that and go over the brightness now it says it's 400 lumens i would say that's probably pushing it a little bit not quite 400 lumens but uh we'll go ahead and test that out and then we're going to head to the range and see how it holds zero and then i'll give my uh final verdict of it here the lights are off and flashlight so nice and bright plenty of light plenty for what you're going to need so so we got this crazy looking setup here and uh, some ammo. We're gonna test it out, see how well it holds zero. And uh, yeah, we're gonna go from there. All right, got my laser on. Let's see how she does. Cover tactical rail just kind of disappeared. For the shots that it uh, stayed on for, it held zero. Not the best setup. Gonna have to make a video about this guy, I guess. But well, it held zero for the testing for the <laughs> for the like eight rounds that I got off before uh, my recover tactical rail split in half. 
um but yeah so i'll have to do further testing with it i did talk to them and i can uh i can rent a handgun like larger ones like glock 17s and stuff and stick things like those larger flashlights because that's definitely what it's designed for it's not designed for a uh really small compact one so um i'll have to do further testing in the future and really put it through some paces but all together if you're looking for a light and you don't want to spend a ton of money it is a decent option um i would probably personally go with just their uh flashlight model versus the laser i'm not huge on lasers i don't really think they're all that necessary um that's just my opinion you know um some people might feel differently but yeah so i, I think it's it, it's solid it's fairly bright for what you get and uh it's it's not very expensive um personally if you have the budget i would just get like an olay balder but that is uh you know we're talking about 80 dollars more so we're stepping out of the budget lights at that point but if you're looking for a cheap light yeah it's not bad the feachi uh flashlight uh laser combo the actual model number like i said i'll put it on the screen in the beginning of the video but that's what i got for you i hope you enjoyed the video if you would hit it with a like subscribe to the channel i got a lot more to come i'll talk to y'all later